Oh, whoa, 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 hey. <laughs> oh, Cody, Cody. Whoa, doubled up, doubled up. daily doubles. There we go, let that one just play out. Dude, you got a big fish here though. There Base and trolling at its best. Catching nice, a lot of these big fish pulling off structure. It's early summer to midsummer. Might as well just put her down right here. What is going on guys? Today we are back with another video. It's me. We got Cody, the yeah. stash, the stash man. The stash man. The infamous stash. And we are out here today and it is gonna, it's gonna, looks like it's gonna rain about 47 times today. It might be sunny this afternoon, it might get hot, who knows. We're gonna do something we have not done yet this year. And it's a pattern that's super productive on a lot of bodies of water come midsummer, And that is... Trolling in the basin. Trolling in the basin with crank baits <laughs> crank bait basin trolling so we're gonna get some planer boards going we're gonna send some baits back we're gonna tell you guys exactly where we're looking for these fish what makes this thing a midsummer kind of gem and it's a uh, incredibly under pressured way to fish we already got rain coming in here this yeah. is ridiculous it's only gonna rain for about a minute you can see the sun over there but yeah and it's gonna be uh, a lot of this kind of you know what makes this pattern good where you can look for fish the best baits the best speeds how we like to do it and hopefully put some all in about doing this have not done this this year it's been a lot of structure fishing so far but we're gonna pull off structure and i can already tell this is gonna be the first of many rainstorms so i'm gonna have to pull the cameras down for a second throw a rain jacket on we'll get set up we'll see you guys in a little bit if you guys are not subscribed please do that if this channel brings you any value, please hit the subscribe button. But we gotta get going. We gotta get the rain gear on. Are you gonna get the melt? Cameras down for Are a you second. Melt? I might melt, Cody. I might. Hey, right there, right there. Oh, it's oh grab it, Cody. Grab it. There we go, brother. Number one. That is a fish, brother. We got one. Slow and steady, my man. Well, that was hardly any time at all, huh? That didn't take long at all. That was surprising, actually. You know, having not done yet this yet this year, we're just kind of starting to see fish set up in a situation that would be possible. And Cody literally just said, I'm traveling around hopping different lakes nonstop. And Cody said, he's seen some walleyes eating some big perch out here this week. Which is good that they're kind of getting, you know, moving around off structure, probably gorging on some of these big fat balls of perch. And I want to say this is a husky jerk, HJ12, back 100. In my favorite color, Cody, which you already know what it is. Oh, I already know. Purple, purple dirt. Purple, Pur purple. Purple descent. Purple descent. Secret purple descent. A little heavy there, bud. Well, you know how this is. Normally you catch some of the bigger fish in the system running this pattern. If we can make it happen today, I'll be a very happy guy. You and I both. It's always fun when you can do something different than a slip bobber. Yeah, a fish probably bit in about 27 feet of water, probably Ooh. running about 18 down. As long as it doesn't come up and make a big jump, I'll be happy, you know? Right. Because you will get big smallmouth out here gorging on this suspended bait too. You see that migration of those right after they go post-spawn. Oh, big dorsal fin, dude. Is it? Yeah. My brother, we got a good one. <laughs> we got a Keep big Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Let's see what we got. Oh, it's a nice walleye. It's a nice walleye. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Oh, we got another line, Oh, we? we got them. We got them. We'll get them unhooked and uh, give you guys a look here. But that's exactly what we're after. <laughs> Basin walleyes out here transitioning from early summer to summer. There we go. Number one. Nice, perky, healthy. Northern Wisconsin walleye, back he goes. Just getting started too. Just getting rocking and rolling here. Cody, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on, boy. Get him, son, get him, boy. That's all you, boy. Well, that's all you, I'll... Oh, me, that's I'll bullshit. I'll captain the boat. There we go. You turn this off because it's super annoying. To oh, you don't like that? Oh, it's not that I don't like it as much as the viewers sometimes don't find it that fun. <laughs> no, it does get really annoying. I'll cup you out so you should come in nice for us. It's funny, we're actually, you know, 
This is the first year I've really ran a lot of this mega live. We were coming down that spot and I just kind of got it pointed forward. And I was going, oh, Cody, here they come, here they come. <laughs> and, you know, we went through a pot of them and they're, you know, the baits are obviously 100 feet farther back than, than where we are, but. I think he might have just came off. Try reeling really fast. You still got him? Oh, is it a bass? I don't know. It looked what like a here? smaller walleye. Is it a little walleye or is it a bass? It's walleye like. Oh, it is a little walleye. Look at that. He just came way up high to play with us, huh? Yep. And it's not a bad one. He's just hooked all goofy, isn't he? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, there we go. And we're kind of running a mixture of structure and open water. And one thing you guys will see, people are always like, you know, when you when you start catching fish, like over 60 feet of water or something crazy like that, people are always like, man, how do you find that needle in a haystack? Well, whatever depth those fish are sitting on structure, which what depth would you say that is, Cody, primarily out here? Right now, 22 yeah. feet, 21 So if those feet. fish are sitting on a hump that's 20 feet, 22 feet, and maybe, you know, they're obviously either 22 feet down or they're 19 feet down or close to the bottom, those fish out over open water are generally that same depth zone down. It's not like you'll be catching fish on a, a lot of fish in a 10 foot hump and then you're trolling 30 feet down over the basin. Whatever kind of depth zone those fish like, that's generally the depth zone you're fishing, whether you're on structure or over open water. So uh, we just kind of crashed, you know, we caught that first nicer fish out over open water, crashed into a hump that was about 22 feet deep, baits are going about 18, 20 down, and boom, caught one right off structure. So um, there we go, let's keep trolling, let's get a few more. All right guys, we're reeling and checking a few lines here. You guys probably notice I'm running a different board than I've been running in the past. And I wanna take a second, because I know whenever I have a new piece of product that's obvious in a video, you guys are gonna ask a ton of questions. I made the switch to running all church boards, and this is the TX22 splushing. Now, this, bait, this board has this yellow clip on the front, and this thing is magic. If you're sick of chasing boards that are back behind the boat or anything like that, this clip <laughs> does not come off. I mean, having a board come off is like one of the worst things of all time. This cannot come off, and it's a super, we'll kind of just put it on the line here, so, well, you guys don't even have to, really, but you, this put the, you obviously put the line in here. What were you gonna say, Cody? Would this be a good example here? <laughs> Cody has a bass on right now, and we're trying to get it in as quick as we can, so we're not messing with it as we kind of clean some lines here, and Cody is yanking that board as the hard as he can. The board's buried right fast. now. The board's buried right now, and it, it will not come off. And you simply put, obviously, the line in there, lock it shut, and these things do not lose line. And obviously, on the back, you have another awesome clip with the pin down the middle. And I've been running these boards for a while last year, and then a bunch this year so far. All my trolling stuff this year. Phenomenal board if you guys want to get into trolling. Trolling, you want to buy a good board, and you really want to make sure you buy a board that has awesome clips, because that will make an absolute world of difference. These things spread baits very far out to the side, so even when you're trolling big cranks, you don't have this sandwich spread, and uh, they obviously got the uh, flake system on there as well, so you can kind of detect bites that way as well. But um, I'll link them down below, because we always get a ton of questions on this stuff. In the meantime, Cody's just scooting a 20-inch smallmouth across the surface right now. There Here we, we are. Nice, smelly, stinky, rotten crayfish eating smallmouth. They are nasty, aren't they? <laughs> they smell so bad. I know. Oh, whoa, 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 hey. <laughs> there we go, Cody, right there. I gotta turn the music off. And we are on with another one. Got the cheerleader squad over here. Yeah. Oh, Cheering on town. Better yeah. make sure I don't troll right into them all, huh, Cody? I'm not a little distracted. Yeah. Nice and slow and steady. Out here in the basin with the swimmers, Cody. I prefer to swim on a sandbar myself. You do? So it's yeah. right in the middle of the lake. Instead of right in the middle of my trolling spread. Where guys are trying to put together a, a mid-lake pattern. Feeling nice, feeling nice, not gonna lie. It's actually looking good down there. A couple more fish on the live. Feeling nice, feeling nice. Feeling nice. What do you got for line? Good time, 70. Ooh, we got, a, we got a while. Yeah, we got a little bit. Just came kind of right over that little high spot there. Staying deep, staying real deep. Real deep. We says. just we just thought we had the lake beast on about a minute or two ago. We had a smallmouth that bit and got hooked in the side. Kind of made a big ordeal out of that one. Yeah, we did. 
getting froggy now, Cody. Getting froggy. Getting froggy. I love these. Oh, Cody. Cody. Whoa, Whoa doubled up. Daily dubs. There we go. Let that one just play That's out. A big fish. Dude, you got a big fish here, though. Is he? Can you see him? Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, right we here. We got a couple of them. We just came into this area. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Look at him. Give us some. Give us some. Dude. <laughs> Where are we going with that? All right, you take that one. I'll work on this guy. Actually, I'll get your board out first. And this is when it gets fun. When you kind of get in an area, the fish are cooperating, and uh, you're catching them. I absolutely oh. love these little yellow clips on the board. They pop off so nice and easy. On the old TX-22s, I'm gonna pop this guy off quick. So we got a couple of twins, huh? Oh, you got a bass. I got a moss. Big old bass. Oh, well, little moss. Definitely some potential out here in this area, though. And this open water basin trawling is a lot of just trying different areas and seeing kind of where there's fish, where there's not. It's not like you can just a lot of times say like, okay, that area is going to be really good. A lot of times it's just it's one of those deals yeah. you just got to go and fish them. And uh, we just pulled up into this area and immediately some life. Look at that thing on the rod. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes looks great. like one of those channel cats. <laughs> That's what it looks like. There, there we go. A little too big to flip that one in. Yeah, a little too big. Well, there we go. We got a double of bass and walleye. And my guess is we go back through there, we're going to see probably a few more walleyes, huh? Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Basin trawling at its best. Catching nice. A lot of these big fish pulling off structure in this early summer to midsummer time frame. There we go. Let's let them go. I like it. Let's get baited back up. I got to turn us around. Let's just do circles around the swimmers here. Six <laughs> I like it. Out, huh? I like it. I kind of already figured at some point. Oh, there we go, Tom. Oh, right oh, 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 Dude, oh, oh, sandwich. I am not doing this one. No, that's you. That's no, you. no, 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 no. Take it, brother, take it, take brother, it, take it, brother. Take it, take it. Fine, fine, fine. Be my guest. Too much pressure. Too much pressure. I'm going to slow us down just a smidgen. Dude, that, this is going to be a nice fish. Isn't it, it is going to be a good he one. He just clocked it. Absolutely clocked it. Or is just oh, I'm just gonna pull it in. Yeah, that right, sounds good. How do you do this stupid thing? Uh, you press that metal thing uh, down, down. Yeah, dude, this thing brunched it, didn't it? Oh yeah. It's feeling right too. Just got pancaked. It's feeling right. I'm gonna start backing up here. You move. Teamwork makes the dream work. Good tip when you're board fishing, keep your rod way down like this in the last second. Pick it up and start walking back. That way you don't get the board swinging around wild in the air. You're on. Turn around autopilot here. Oh yeah, Cody, this is feeling right. Let's get another one. This is feeling right. Loading up the 2B trolling rod here. It's gonna come up here in a second though. Mm-hmm. I like Mine's it. I like it a lot. Straight back. I like it. Come here, buddy. He's just walking in now. Oh gosh. Not really nice. Is it He's a walleye? The old, the old sideways deal here. His head comes up. Try to keep him down. Oh yeah, look at that. Is that a big walleye? It oh, is yeah. a big old walleye. Keep the rod loaded. You don't. I think sometimes you can skate him, but I like to almost just keep the rod loaded up as possible and keep him coming just like this. Oh, I always get so scared here. I can't see. Okay, right there. You're good. Just keep reeling. Keep reeling. Oh, oh in the bag. Oh, dude, that's a nice one. <laughs> On the husky jerk, my man. They love that purple dust and husky Boom. jerk. Boom. Oh, give me some. Look at that, dude. Beautiful basin walleyes out here. Getting it done on the crankbaits. Such a cool way to fish. So productive, and it's obviously on right now. Let's let that guy go. See you later, dude. Back for more. I don't know. Do we mix another husky jerk in the spread or do we keep running some tail dancers? Mm. Believe me, I got more purple less than husky jerks. All right, guys. So where are we doing a lot of this trolling? Because that makes just as much of a difference as what kind of bait you're going, what kind of speed you're going, all that kind of stuff. So what we're really doing today is we're not like full on exclusively just pulling out over no man's land yet. Although we will probably soon here once fish kind of slide off a lot of the stuff they're on now in the next couple weeks here. And generally what you see is 
as you kind of come into this early summer to summer transition, where are our water temps, Cody? 73.8. So we're kind of just creeping up into this kind of midsummer time frame now. What you see is there might be a lot of fish holding on mid depth structures, 15 to 20 feet of water. Then you might start seeing fish off of structure in that same depth zone. And eventually these fish, as the summer goes down, will get lower and lower in the water column in a lot of these lakes. But for right now, there's a lot of fish in 18, 20, 21 feet of water. And they're sitting in those same depth zones. They're starting to shift off to just out over no man's land. But there's kind of fish both places. So what we're doing is we're taking spots that might look like this right here. And we're just kind of connecting the dots. We troll a pass through an area that looks like this, something that resembles this right here. So this is one situation in which we're trolling. We're kind of, you know, bumping into structure occasionally and trolling the open water between these areas for fish that are, you know, centered up around a lot of these, these kind of, the piece of structure at the right depth zone. The other thing we're doing is we're taking a spot that might look like this, where it's just a big flat with a lot of water in the right depth zone, where you might be looking at a lot of, you know, 20, 21, 22 feet of water, and we're trolling down these big flats for fish that are just kind of roaming over these areas, not quite out in the middle of the lake yet suspended, but just kind of sitting on these big shelves in that correct depth zone. And trolling's obviously a phenomenal way to cover water in those areas. Now, how fast are we going most time, Cody? Anywhere from one five to two. Anywhere from one five to two. I like going probably right around one eight, two miles an hour, a little bit quicker seems to be good. But you know, sometimes it's day to day. A lot of times you can go to a lake where you might be trolling a lot of like two five, you know, two seven real fast. But in a lot of these clear water lakes, I like trolling just kind of the standard one eight, two miles an hour, somewhere right in that depth zone seems to be doing the trick. So pretty simple approach. A lot of times it's the difference of, you know, looking at a spot like, oh, that hump has fish on it, or that hump has some on too. And looking at the bigger picture and saying, a lot of these humps have fish, and then a bunch of them have fish sitting off the side over deeper water. And that's kind of a lot of times what it takes from going from a, something like a slip bob or a jig bite to, you know, seeing this open water trolling pattern, connecting the dots, and really making it a super productive day um, by getting off structure and trolling the base. And for a lot of those fish that are often much bitier than fish that are just locked on top of a rock hump. Oh, 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 Ooh. Ooh, a little weight, a little weight. Feels good. Ooh, there's another fish on the graph right there. Ooh, just skimming them across nice, the surface nice, nice. there. Nice, Keep them coming. Definitely the right kind, I would say. It is, it is. Give them to me. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. That's what we're after. It's been a fun little open water kind of trolling. First little go at it this year. Like we said, this bite's just getting better and better and better. Another nice fish. On the old husky jerk again. Purple death center, nice fish. Bring him on. Oh my gosh. Oh my <laughs> gosh. Jesus. <laughs> God, I He's thought he was to... going just perfectly right into the net. He there. was, and then he just <laughs> took a straight, <laughs> straight U-turn. Awesome. It was like, I'm gonna give her one more go at it here, getting off right at the boat. There we go. Another nice, nice one. do it for today's video hopefully you guys enjoyed watching this one fun little afternoon of trolling some crankbaits a little bit over open water a little bit bumping into structure cody is this bike gonna get better or worse definitely gonna get better i mean it can only get better as water temps continue to rise it's you're gonna see a big migration of walleyes moving out deep out to the basin for sure and we're actually a little bit early you can kind of tell we got kind of more fish on structure less fish over open water but i always like doing these videos Kind of before we kind of really transition into that time kind of give you guys that leg up on the competition um and that's always a good thing so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one hopefully you guys either enjoyed some of the information in here or you guys enjoyed watching me and cody catch a few of these basin walleyes today on a flatline trolling program super fun bite and like cody said it's only going to get better and better and better so we're going to pick some of these baits up reel everything in put it away maybe do something else this afternoon maybe get out of here and just edit because i got about 20 hours of editing sitting on my computer video we just shot yesterday this video another app video so lots to do but i appreciate you guys watching if you guys are not yet please subscribe cody any closing thoughts or words that's it that's all i got 
That's it. That's what the guy's got. It's just oh. going to get better. That's all I got. Oh, look at that. We're going to 100% have a small mouth on back there. Oh, you get to reel him you in. Him. <laughs> you can see him flopping around just like 100 yards back there up out of the water on the board. But we're going to reel the small mouth in, get out of here, and uh, we'll see you guys 